Okay, a little bit about roofing and, um, you know, obviously <laughs> what you need to do to pass roof inspections and to certify a good solid roof. Now, we've seen everything from bullet holes in roofs, literally <clears throat> bullets stuck in the roof in the ghetto, <laughs> ghetto areas from people shooting their guns up in the air all the way to, you know, five layers of roofing. So the correct way and we're just going to show you some patch and some other ways today of uh, what you need to do to have a good solid certified roof first of all you want one layer you want it uniform something like this here this is our roof vent you can see it's not covered by shingles they just tarred it in that's incorrect you need to tar it in you need to have 50 percent of the shingles covering the vent like this like this one here. See how the shingles come in and cover the roof? And then you need to tar your nail holes and tar your surround. You can see I tarred all the way around the complete surround here. Same with this one. Tar, tar nails, tar the shingles to the tin, and then tar the seal just to make sure there's no leaks. This one over here. They got this part tarred, you know, around the shingles, but failed to tar the lower part. So I just got done tarring the lower part, the nail holes, as well as that lower tin. Now, we have another one over here. This is one that hasn't been done yet. And as you can see, the nails aren't tarred. And there's no tar around the upper strip where it meets the shingles. So I'll go ahead and tar that now and then we'll take a look. So you want to lift that shingle, get underneath the shingle and tar it between the tin here and the roof there. And then any tack strips, but you don't want to tear the integrity of the shingle. So be careful of that. Then you wrap that over. Then you tar this area. Then you tar this area, your nail holes, lift that tar that and then tar around the exterior all the way around so this is one hasn't been tarred yet to tar all the way around and then I tar these right here like where it couples with the pipe and there you go there's the finished product and I seal all the way around you can see here you can see where it couples with the pipe to the tin you can see all the way around the bottom and then up and underneath the shingles all the way around the top all right so do you see here how he went over one layer there needs to be a layer under here and then all the way across and then of course layered up from here over all the way across so I'll show you what it'll look like finished also on this side we have a couple buckets to do and then the electrical you want to make sure and do those too Okay, so we're layering them, and as you can see, I'm taking full pieces here. Uh, that, that last one I had to cut in half versus the full piece. And then I'm sliding them up, up and under the existing to patch. You shouldn't have to do this if you did it right the first time, but here we go. So what I'm doing is I have to pry this up and then taking this, getting it under here, getting it under the existing shingles, right? And then making sure that my lines are centered. Okay, and then pushing it all the way up underneath and making sure it goes all the way up. Okay, so right there I got a little bit of a hang up and then push up and make sure you get it all the way, all the way there. And then what you have is it should be right on the edge as you can see, all the way up, and then this bottom part stays open, just like these. But I work my way up from the bottom, all the way up to the top, on both sides, bottom up. Okay, we got it all cut in, as you can see. It's all layered from the bottom up. Did my round arch there. All that's done. And I brought it over. I damaged one there a little bit, because it sticks really hard. But I brought it over to about here. So I bring it out over a couple tabs 
just to make sure that we have plenty of surface area to be able to seal. Now what I'll do is I'll go around and I'm going to nail. I don't nail anything first. First I get everything set, right? It's all shimmy and shake. Get it all set and then I'll go back and then I'll nail it. Now when you nail your tabs, just a real quick peek. See under there? You want to nail them above, I repeat, above this, this line. If you nail it below, it's hard to put shingles, slide it up and under. That's what I struggled with because the last guy wasn't very good at his job. So you always want to put it up here, uh, just below your tab. So it's a little recess so you can push your, um, you know, the, the next shingle up and under. So the nails should go, you know, like right about here, okay? And then now I'm going to go back and I'm going to nail off all the shingles that I had, make sure the tin's well nailed down, and then I'll tar. Okay, and then you have nails like on the end of your roof caps. I just covered these. There's usually nails, you know, to finish the roof cap. I like to caulk those. So caulk your roof cap. Also, uh, where your roof cap ends and your drip edge is, there should be one inch. And you can see here they missed their inch a little bit. They cut this a little off. So I'm fixing it, but uh, it needs to be one inch over the drip edge. One inch over the drip edge and your roof cap nails should all be covered. You need to check your whole roof for nails and make sure they're all tarred, anything exposed. And then areas like this where my the furnace guy uh, nailed this down, it's not fastened all the way, so we need to add a couple more nails to it. Okay. All right, and this is the finished product. You can see tar all the way around. those tar on your links too you're not supposed to do it on the, these but where the cuff meets as you can see here where the cuff meets you want to make sure and tar those too and of course enough nails to make sure you fasten well and then over here Jeremy just put a couple nails in here and you want to make sure all your nail holes all over your roof are taken care of. So I'll cock these right now. And bingo.